The Tour Championship is the culmination of a season where we saw Tiger back to his best. The resurgence of Henrik Stenson, the realisation of potential for Adam Scott and the downturn of fortunes for Rory McIlroy. But whilst all of these storylines have been unfolding, perhaps the best journey of any player on tour this year has been that of 20-year-old Jordan Spieth. Now set to make his President's Cup debut next month, he is the overwhelming favourite for the PGA Tour Rookie of the Year award. Well, I went to walk and talk with Jordan to get his take on a sensational season. Let's just go back to the beginning of this season. I'm just intrigued to know your mindset and how you decided to do what you did. You kind of, you didn't make Q school, you had no status, right. and you kind of just decided to back yourself and roll the dice, didn't you? And make yeah. the most response for exemptions. What was your thought process at the beginning of this year? Well, I remember talking to y'all at, uh, at Pebble there, and it, it's, it's been kind of a whirlwind since. I knew I was gonna have seven starts. I knew I was gonna be able to play the web.com tour. Um, you know, I just kind of had a confidence that, you know, maybe I get my game going early spring or at the beginning of the year, and, and uh, you know, earn my way onto the tour. My goal at the beginning of the year was to earn my 2014 PGA Tour card. Yeah. And at that time, after Tampa, after Puerto Rico, then Tampa, I knew that I had accomplished that goal. So at that point, it really did take all the pressure off. I was playing with house money. So in my mind, it was about, you know, where can we now change our goals and maybe try and win a tour event. And then we know what happened. But before yeah. we get onto that, I'm going to let you go and play your next shot before okay. we all right. hold you up any longer. Okay, so let's talk the John Deere. First of all, the shot to get into the playoff in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, did you see that from the bunker? I wasn't playing for par. I was playing to make it, and it came out a little thin, and uh, caught the pin, dropped straight down. You know, I hit that shot another hundred times. It might not go in, but it happened that once, and um, I found myself in a playoff. And in that playoff, a three-way playoff, one of them was defending champion Zach Johnson. Did you feel like a legitimate contender, or in all honesty, did you think? it wouldn't go your way. I, that was the most nervous I've ever been um, playing golf, was was standing on the 18th tee for the first playoff hole, really the first two playoff holes. But in my mind, you know, I approached it with the way that I've heard to approach playoffs is just pretend that those guys are more nervous than I am. So um, that's all that was on my mind. I was really pumped up. I was hitting the ball really, really far at the, you know, with some, so much adrenaline. And I, I truly felt confident. I felt like I really needed it more than they needed it. Um, and in my mind, uh, kind of maybe had a little extra drug. Uh, the Open, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, you mentioned I can take a bit of bad luck if I want in the pot bunkers, but yeah. the funny thing about the Open was the big story around you that week was you had no idea you were going to be on the road for that long yeah. at that time. So you hadn't packed enough, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was weird. I, I had only packed for one week because we thought we were going to Congressional and then the week off and then the John Deere and then the week off. So I really only packed for one week and then ended up in four. You know, it was it was just a great experience. What a cool golf course! You know, it's it's almost the the Augusta of the UK with with how exclusive it is. And um, yeah, I just thought it was so awesome just to be playing there. But uh, all in all, I just didn't have the patience for that golf tournament yet. And and I learned a lot. And at the PGA, still didn't have the patience. So that's something I need to work on in majors. But um, for not being not thinking I was ever going to have the chance to go over there this year, uh, it was it was an awesome experience. That's fine, one step at a time. We can't have you winning a major just yet. Yeah, um, wow. I'm gonna talk about the President's Cup because okay. what an achievement that is, Jordan. And actually, the, the picks came out just after the Deutsche Bank, after you shoot a final round 62, I think, playing alongside Phil Mickelson. Uh -huh. And the story goes, Phil texts Freddie and said, you have to pick this kid. Yeah. Now, there were quite a few people in the press talked about who could be the picks. Did you feel confident enough that you'd done enough to show Freddie? I did. I, mean, I felt like uh, I felt I did all that I could do. Um, I, I was a little taken back at Wyndham because I knew in that playoff that that was going to be big if I could uh, if I could pull that off and get two wins right there leading up to it. That 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 may secure it. And when it didn't happen, I knew I had to play well in the playoffs. And uh, that final round, once that finished, I I made the putt on 18, and that's what crossed my mind was, you know, there's a good shot that that putt may have been to to make the President's Cup and that was definitely on my mind these last few weeks was what can I do to make that team and uh, I didn't reach out to anybody I just wanted to play golf and, and I guess I had a lot of really great support from the guys on the team already um, which is which is really awesome to hear uh, at this point leading into that tournament coming from the best players in the world. And how excited are you uh, to be taking so it the President's Cup? Yeah I mean 
just beyond excited. It's, uh, uh, it's a dream of mine to play President's Ryder Cup teams. It's the biggest honor that I think I can uh, ever have in the game of golf. And um, to be able to have it this soon, uh, it just can't really wrap my mind around it right now. But um, you know, playing well, uh, giving the captains feedback on, on uh, you know, what teams maybe they would like to see, how we all feel with each other. And, uh, you know, I, I probably won't let it sink in until a couple weeks after. i got to dig in right now. You have achieved so much this year, Jordan. Congratulations. And next Thank year, you. there's so much more to come. The Masters, Thank, maybe yeah. the Ryder Cup. Yeah. Who knows? This kid knows? is one to watch. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. We'll let you finish it off. Best of luck this year. Appreciate it. Thank you.